Are you guys doing this is Martin? You know me from my series, how to pay for car loan in 36 months without giving up Starbucks or being cheap. Been watching my series on how I talked about three things porn stores do: have a cashier, acknowledge the customer, and make sure they have like plenty of inventory. They have a cheaper inventory, they have a lower inventory, and after that, they make sure when you leave, you can get your money. And they just don't let you wander around. They just don't. After they acknowledge you, they have the cashier, they have the products. They also go check in. Hey. You only have 20 minutes to be here. You just can't just wander around. So if you're a customer, you can't say, well, I'm not interested. What, what, what does that mean? Well, you stay home. But since you're not interested, is there anything I can do to help you out or get you going? So they acknowledge them and say, hey, you're here for a reason. If not, you will be with your family. You don't want to be with your family. You don't want your wife. You're wandering around here. Or you with your wife and your kids. You didn't just come here just for the love of life. So what is it? What do you, what do you want to buy? Let's get you going, man. Because if you don't go buy it here, someone else like me is going to come up to you whether i'm white black or whatever i'm gonna say hey what's up chief even if you're black i'm gonna come up to you yeah so what if i think you're stealing that don't mean anything you just ain't gonna wander in my store like like you don't know what's going what's going on with life that's you go do that on the freeway off ramp or you do like those people on the freeway but here i got bills to pay so what's the deal man how you can you put some money in my pocket that's the problem you have right now. People all, oh, talking about Confederate flags, this and that and the other. But you know what? You know what I'm saying? Hey, how can we go out and make some money? Does it? I believe if people made money, it'd be less. You have less complaining. You have less protests. This is what happens. People are out of work. They're upset. And then you have something like this goes off and people can funnel the energy because people are restless. They got excess energy. They've been sitting at home since March. Now they're working again. Some of them are working. Some of them are not. They got energy. And they're just, they're just trying to find out where to direct that energy. What I want you to do now, don't worry about the conspiracy theories. Don't worry about Trump. What is it? They say he's doing it on June 19th, Emancipation Day. You know, I don't care. I mean, people, black people, this is not 19, you don't, you know if it's 1965, they'd be setting the dogs on your ass, so it's not that, so something bad happened, but we also know black people do crazy stuff too, so don't, don't come with me that had holier and Dow stuff, so don't, I'm 51, I've seen it, my uncle was in jail, I lived in the hood, and there were no white people breaking into houses, selling drugs, if you want to say like, well, from years of oppression, that we were forced to survive this way. Well, I, I could say that, but does that still make it right for you to have crack and kill somebody over $10 or $15? Regardless of like the law was illegal or whatever, you did that. You didn't take, just take responsibility for it. Say, hey judge, you know what? You know, I did it. I know there were other circumstances, but in the end, I was responsible. I think that's what people want people to say. They say, it was my fault, that's it. End it. Just like with the George Floyd thing. Four days? See, four days, all you had to do was like go one day. Hey, you know what? We're going to suspend this guy. We're going to possibly charge him. That would have been it. But what happens when people have, you give silence, what happens? People feel their own narrative. Now you had the whole world filling in a narrative when you could have just said, hey, it's obvious that unless a black guy surrounded by four people with handcuffs is a threat to you, then the police are basically useless. Is that what you're trying to say? If you have to do all of that, you're basically saying police are useless. Is that is that what you're saying? I mean, I mean that's what that's going to tell me. Wait till the trial comes up. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, you know it's going to go from defund the police to where's RoboCop, man? Like how many people? How many cops does it take to handle one black guy? So if it takes four cops to handle one black guy. If you say I have a city of like a thousand black guys, you would need 4,000 cops. But you don't have a budget for 4,000 cops. So you'll never have enough cops to handle the one black guy that you try to get arrest and kill. So it's got to be some type of change. And then the white people are tired of it because it's like, hey, they make me look bad. Because if I look bad, I'm going to make you look bad. And there's going to be a price to be paid. So now they're just paying the price. Like, I have my black, my white wife is my white friends married to a black guy. My daughter's married to a black guy, or my son is married to a white girl, whatever. Black guy, white girl, white black girl, white guy, whatever. You're making problems for me. Why are you making problems for me? That's what you have happening right now. People are just saying. 
You're making problems for me. Now that you made problems for me, I'm going to make problems for you. And I'm going to make sure I don't have this problem again. So the hell with whatever happens to you. I don't care if you, you shoot yourself. You can have a suicide. You can have a, have a, what is it? Have like a suicide club thing. Where you like all, all get together and figure out, hey, what can we do to get this going? So today I want you to like, don't get distracted, man. If you're black, don't don't be a victim. Don't play the victim. I don't want to have any black guys crying, like talking about how you have mental problems and all type of issues. No one wants to hear that, man. I don't want to hear that. We already know what's been going on. It was a bad incident, but don't use this as an excuse to act out and do all type of strange things. No one wants to see that. Man. And as for the white people, I respect you. If you want to show some change, hey, just check yourself. If everyone just checked themselves, we would not have any problems. So that's the goal. Now, after all the politics aside, now it's time to go out there and make some money, man. How are you going to get back to money? Or, or did you just go buy a new car? I was at the Valero yesterday. Some lady bought like a 2020 BMW, but she's getting gas at Valero. I'm telling you, man, 25, 75, $125 programs for you guys. Get on those programs. Learn how to pay off your car loan earlier. Right now, I have a 2014 Camry. I'm spending 400. The, the, the minimum payment is 300. I paid 400, and that allows me to get one, one pay off one year worth of car payments in 12 months. Time four, five years. I would be. Four, or just say time four months, four years. That's 60 month payment minus four is 56 dollars, 56 months. A car is depreciated after 60 months to IRS. You want to get that car as close to paid off as possible. Right? Some of you guys with the new cars, 554 dollars, 72 months. The IRS depreciates a car after 60 months. You after that 72 months, your car is basically worth zero. If you get into an accident. The, car, the insurance company legally is not going to pay you back. All they're going to do is pay all the extra insurance you were paying for depreciation to pay off the car. And if you get a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, it's just because they feel sorry for you. Hey, you bought a sixty thousand dollar car. Give them two thousand dollars so we can get something else. Give like tossing them a quarter. Hey, we took so much money from them, tossed the money to them, sent them on their way. So this is the time, man. I have a $25, $75, $125 program. Mark Morris, P.O. Box 540, Sabrina, California, 92402. Mark Morris, P.O. Box 540, Sabrina, California, 92402. Get on those programs, man. Get on those programs. Learn how to pay off that car loan, man. You need to get that stuff done. Or if you want to get your name out the stack, 397 497 697 a month for a for, for the programs. Get your name out of the stack. Get out of the stack. It's 40 million people out of work. I'm in California. It's probably at least 10 million and probably another 12, 2 million who will join them when people get tired of waiting two or three hours to get into a Nike or something like that until they just say, hey, to hell with it, man. You'll never see anything like this happen again. People could die on the street. They'll be like the purge. They'll be picking up the bodies, throw them in a the truck, keep going. Nothing to see here. Get back to work, man. I told you, even if you have unemployment, you can still get back to work, man. Get back to work if you can. Make that extra money. All they do is deduct what you made from your check from your unemployment check. 1995, I got laid off two years. So it's going to take you at least two years, probably in this economy, three years to find an equivalent pay. So you might as well just get back to work now. Because even if you have a job, you may get fired like I did or laid off or Aunt Betty may take your your job, Aunt Tina may take your job or the job would be like me, I was working at UPS making a bunch of money. They said, oh, there's a time that when driver used to bring money into us and we used to count cash and give it to like people. Crazy, man. Kids don't know, what's cash? Car drives itself? What else do they say? Gay people are equal? God, I was just like, if I could just go on and on, it's just crazy. but. Get out the stack, P.O. Box 540, San Bernardino, California, 9242. Buy those programs. Get out of the stack, man. Get back to work as soon as you can. And as for the car loan, $25, $75, $125.
if you can just pay sixty seventy eighty dollars on a used car you got to pay at least a hundred dollars on a new car just think you could get like four months of payment six months of payment within like a seven year period get that car paid off before 60 months especially if you have a 72 month lease because your car is worth zero you're not going to get any money from the irs and then for some of you guys you say i don't want to spend any money or i don't like black people or you're not you're uncle tom or you you don't think like i do or what are you fucking you talking about Let's register for my program join my program see what's going on get on the program Join my 100,000 subscriber campaign. Get on there. Learn how to make money. That was my mistake when I got laid off. I didn't ask to learn, learn how to ask for the money, and it didn't work hard enough. So I'm not going to go out and buy a new car. I know people buying furniture and all kind of stuff. You barely pay your rent, man. Come on. Save that extra money. At least you want to get buy a 40 or something on the weekend. Don't go waste twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on a new car. Even if it's cheap, you ain't getting no deal. Because once you start fixing that stuff, they're going to take it out your ass. Just like I would if you think you're going to get a deal on me. So join my programs. Subscribe, comment, like if you want. Let me know what you think, man. Black people, it's over. Get back to work. White America, it's over. Get back to work. Stop fighting. Get back to work. And don't get caught up in Trump. <laughs> Stupid Trump, man. I, I voted for him. I voted for him, man. I voted for him. I voted for him, but now he's gonna have all these make it get, get back to mag stuff. He ain't gonna get real left, mag. Unfortunately, he never evolved. That's what happens when you don't get good training. You don't evolve, and then you become obsolete. Sign up, register today.